Hello everyone, this is a lesson to solution with updates. So basically you, t you have uh, two bitmap uh, images uh, bouncing uh, on the screen and uh, you see like we uh, achieve uh, bouncing from the left and right side and uh, from the south and the north side as well. And there's optional, the two images also have uh, collision between them. So let's talk about most of the part of the solution. So this is uh, actually lesson two before updates. So if you follow lesson two canvas game tutorial, you should receive the basic behavior for the one bit map. And that one bit map is moving from the left to right. And basically we need to update this uh, lesson two to have a uh, different uh, two bitmaps and uh, bouncing from the uh, boundaries of the screen. So first of all, uh, we need to bring new bitmap images. So I just prepared them before. So green and uh, Diablo, that's the two images I want to copy. Copy and paste drawable. Copy specified files and these files right now here. So what I want to do right now, I want to update the project that it will works for two images. So of course I need to update bitmap to using one more variable. Private bitmap, let's say bmp2. And uh, I want to change the first bitmap, it will be a refer to r dot drawable let's say Diablo and second bitmap will be a refer to green PNG let's create information for first sprite so we need uh, the following variables. We need the uh, variable x1 and y1. We need the uh, x speed and y speed, which just make 20 by default. And we need to evaluate sprite width and height. Initially, it's zero. Let's do similar for the second sprite. For the second sprite, we have initial coordinates x, y, and y, y, x2 and y2, 200 and 500. Um, X2 speed will be 35 and Y speed will be 10. And as well, we uh, define sprite width uh, and 2 and sprite height 2 for the second width. So move to the constructor of the game. Um, so when we finished uh, initialize bitmaps, uh, we would like to uh, define width and height for both bitmaps. So what I just did it here, uh, I find height for the bitmap1 and saving sprite height variable of the time for width and the same information for bitmap2. So right now the variable that was uh, initialized by 0 before, so right now this uh, variable has some values. So let's uh, go and change our drawing. So we will come into the onDraw method and um, we did uh, actually this for the 1 bitmap. Right now we're going to do for 2 bitmaps. So I erase uh, previous uh, canvas draw bitmap and insert it uh, new two bitmaps. And uh, what I can try, I can try right now to change slight variables for the bitmap. So you will see dynamics here, uh, just for uh, purposes of demonstration. And to do the same for the X2. So we can do x2 with speed, uh, x2 plus x2 speed, and the same y2, y2 uh, plus y speed. So this simple, simple stuff we're doing right now. Don't think uh, that will be very complicated at this moment. So right now, before running, I have to check uh, the call code. It looks like um, 
I made one error. I here I did not. I made a typo here. I just write BMP BMT two times right now. I fix it. So let's go back and uh, try to run the project. So uh, right now launch an activity for updated project, and uh, we will see right now two bitmaps. At least one of them we will see moving. And the second one is missing. I don't know why the second one is missing. Um, that's maybe something with the visibility, right? So when we run it very fast, you see the second bitmap still here. So the program works uh, as I expected right now. Just simply, we do not have uh, any boundaries collision. So we want to implement right now. Okay, so for the check uh, borders collision, I am going to update on draw method. So I just insert here uh, border collision check. What I'm going to do right now, I just uh, copy paste the code and explain it. So we check border collision left right if uh, x1 coordinates less than 0 or x1 plus sprite width uh, greater or equal canvas get width. So we change speed to opposite. Updating of the x coordinates will be uh, go to the opposite territory and uh, the sprite will be bouncing. The same idea for the check border collision top bottom y1 is less than zero or y1 is with a sprite together greater than canvas height we also change uh, y speed and after this we update uh, x and y coordinates with uh, a new uh, speed after checking both the conditions so we have to do the absolutely identical uh, for the second image so the second image uh, we instead of x1 we use an x2 x2 and instead of x speed we use an x2 speed and we check border collision for top bottom instead of y1 we using y2 in all cases and y speed and don't forget to change x2 and y2 speed so it looks like we changed everything um, so let's uh, modify our little bit canvas uh, drawing so in this case, uh, because we update an x2 and y2 in uh, border collision check, we can erase these two lines and run code again. Yeah, looks like we have pretty accurate bouncing uh, from left to right and uh, from top to bottom. And the next is optional solution. We uh, have to do collision between sprites. Uh, I don't think it is was a requirement for the assignment less than two canvas games. Uh, so please note that I do not provide uh, collision between sprites yet in this video. So we will talk about um, collision between sprites in lesson four. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, have a good day.